What's up guys, hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about the information surrounding a new MonsterVerse movie. This is everything we know so far about the sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong. The next movie in the series will reportedly start shooting off Australia's Gold Coast later on in 2022, with news stating that, quote, In a $120 million boost for Queensland's film industry, Legendary Entertainment has confirmed a Godzilla vs. Kong sequel will be filmed off the Gold Coast. Speculation has arisen already that the focus of this movie could be a little different as it may in fact be a Kong film over a Godzilla one, which means that we could very well get something of a reverse of what was supposed to happen years ago when when Toho went about doing their sequel to King Kong vs. Godzilla, where Godzilla is actually made out to be the protagonist and Kong the villain. Of course, there was some information a while back that suggested that Legendary was going to be entertaining the idea of a Son of Kong sequel of sorts to the MonsterVerse, but it doesn't look like anyone has heard much of that idea for a long while now. The writer of Godzilla vs. Kong has gone on record to say that there will be some new interesting installments coming, which could mean that we will be getting more than just one follow up if everything goes well. Adam Wingard, the director of that film, has stated that he already knows where they could potentially go with future films, and he has so far been reported to have been in negotiations to return to make at least one sequel to that gigantic movie. The interesting thing about the MonsterVerse is the fact that none of the films have necessarily been as huge as other giant franchises like, say, Jurassic World, Marvel, or even the Hobbit movies from 10 years ago, but they did manage to pull in a decent amount of money when people least expected it, such as the last film doing nearly half a billion dollars despite being released mid-pandemic. Adam Wingard is, in my opinion, someone who has a pretty good sense of scale and visually interesting ideas when it comes to these new monster movie adventures, and I'd love to see them do something with this film centered around the Hollow Earth, which could further explore the creatures and ecosystems that live within that shared universe we got a look at in Godzilla vs. Kong. All we definitively know at this moment is that Legendary has been entertaining the idea of doing something related to Son of Kong, and that the follow-up to the last film may revolve more around King Kong than what the last movie did, which if done right could mean that a film focusing on Kong raising his son isn't exactly out of the question, but that leads to some kind of interesting ideas that I don't think too many fans have thought of just yet. So far, there have been two movies to really dive into the idea of Kong having a son. These being 1933's Son of Kong, which was hastily made immediately after the original classic, as well as the gloriously insane King Kong Lives, which came out in the 1980s. The latter of which featured something that seems kind of necessary for a movie like this to even make sense. A female Kong, or Queen Kong if you want to get really specific. Now, I'm not so sure that Legendary will really go in that direction because it looks like they're taking way more inspiration from Toho when it comes to how they've made these MonsterVerse films. Films. and in Toho's past, they didn't really care to come up with an explanation for where Godzilla's son came from at all. A bunch of giant praying mantises just dug an egg out of the ground before they started breaking it open and slapping him in the face, which is again, one of the reasons why I think people still prefer the more animalistic explanation given in 1998's Godzilla remake, which I will say I definitely am one of those people. Personally, the idea of a sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong featuring the son of King Kong and being something of an amalgamation of all of these ideas Ideas, I think would be very smart. Because Skull Island already used the 1970s sensibilities in that movie, which were obviously lifted in part from the 1976 remake of King Kong by Dino De Laurentiis. So yeah, who's to say that King Kong Lives wouldn't be out of the question for inspiration when it came to newer movies? Either way, there's been rumors that the filmmakers behind some of these legendary movies have wanted to use other monsters like Gigan or Biollante when it comes to new adversaries for the monster to face. So who knows, maybe we could even see them in a new movie or a future story as well. Either way, it looks like the MonsterVerse is in fact not dead and that more films are on the way. So with all that being said, what do all of you guys think about this information? What are you interested in seeing in a sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong? And what are your thoughts on a movie remaking Son of Kong from the past? Personally, I'd like it if they took Son of Kong, King Kong Lives, mixed them together, and then did a sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong, with obviously Godzilla being integral to that plot somewhere in the mix. But hey, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below.